everyone, I am Nathan Kokli from grade 6 C and today I am going to be doing an experiment on the water cycle. So let's begin. So yeah, um, over here I have some rock, I have some sand, I have some soil, um, I have some ice, I have a plant, I have shrink wrap, um, yeah, and I also have some water, hot water which is and a bowl over here. An extra bowl. Yeah, so let's begin. So first you're gonna be taking some rocks and just putting it on the first layer like I did in my Miso balls of observation. That's our sand and now our soil. Yeah, let's take our soil. Yeah, just padding it in to make sure it's soft. Yeah, and um, now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this bowl and putting this on the side. Uh, uh, yeah, um, the soil. Just telling you the raw, just telling, reminding you again the rocks, the sand, and the soil is the layers of the earth. And this is gonna, and the bowl of full of hot water is gonna represent the uh, rivers and the evaporation process of our water cycle. So, yeah, we have some hot water over here, and you're gonna pour that. This. Oh, it's very hot. Yeah, that's enough water. Let's take that water and put that over here. And we have this tiny little plant over here with a little pot and it is a recyclable plot pot it is not made out of uh, plastic completely so yeah environmental friendly let's put that over there it's over there yeah let's put the plant yeah and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um so the next thing we're gonna be doing is you're gonna be putting some shrink wrap and that is gonna seal our atmosphere so yeah um Let's take some shrink wrap here. And let's take a scissor and cut this. This looks so good. We can already see some steam building up on the, uh, so that's encouraging sights we can observe. Just let's make sure it's, position, actually no, this is, wrong way, let's put this again.
The other straight camera. That was wrong. So there was a problem with the shrink wrap, um, but we resolved it and we have the first layer of shrink wrap done. So next we're gonna put in the ice as the atmosphere is very cold. So let's serve the ice. Yeah. Uh, icy ice. And we have some more shrink wrap over here to seal the ice and seal our atmosphere again. Just to make sure. That is our model of the uh, water cycle. Uh, so basically, as we can see, encouraging signs of evaporation, uh, we get uh, and condensation. Uh, the water is rising up um, onto the shrink wrap, and uh, there's a little bit of evaporation. We can see, and also, uh, yeah, and also we can see some uh, droplets in the plant which shows some transpiration going on right there i don't know if you can see it properly but the transpiration is actually happening in the process so i'll contact you after some time um when like this whole thing is uh, like it's properly i can show you how it how it turned out and yeah we'll see you after some time bye hello everyone so yeah i'm back and after some time we can observe the water cycle in process so let me explain you step by step so first evaporation so over here uh, we have some uh, hot water the hot water we poured and that has been converted into steam uh, so basically the liquid it's an example of a state of matter liquid getting converted to another state of matter which is gas in this case steam so um and over here we can also see some condensation we have some water being um, over here we can look from the top and we have some water droplets on the shrink wrap and then we can also see some precipitation on the uh, sides of the wall which uh, little little droplets um, which we can see and also we have some transpiration which is over uh, at the plant and some water droplets is falling over there so yeah this is how the water water cycle goes and basically like also even the gun, uh, underground uh, even uh, sometimes the underground water it a uh, process called runoff it also uh, gives water and goes into the atmosphere causing the cycle to occur all over the over them and this is essential for human life to survive the everyday water we must use it judiciously as you never know maybe one day we might run out of water who knows we cannot predict the future and on that note i would like to thank you so much for watching watching so yeah and i will see you next time bye